This is a tourbillon movement. It is significantly more delicate and complex movement than a usual mechanical movement. We'll introduce why it is so, and how to properly handle a tourbillon movement. A tourbillon cage is characterized by a rotating escape mechanism. This rotating tourbillon cage houses the balance wheel and the escapement. They together determine the accuracy of your watch. Due to its construction, it is more fragile and sensitive to external shock than normal escapement. Therefore, avoid touching this component and make sure you do not drop the movement. This is also how you can tell a fake tourbillon movement from a real one. Take this watch from Alibaba as an example. You can see that the quote-unquote tourbillon cage does not rotate at all. This is essentially an open heart design instead of being a tourbillon. You can tell by looking at these two levers, the regulator and the stud. They do not move. They are closely connected to the escapement and control how fast it ticks. We touched upon how they work in another video, so feel free to watch that one after this one. Them being integral to the escape mechanism means that they should rotate with it as well, as you can see on a proper tourbillon movement. It's not just the balance wheel oscillating on its own, but the entire unit rotating together. So, now you know how to spot a fake tourbillon. With how fragile a tourbillon movement is, let's learn how to safely handle it. A few basics first. You want to wear finger cots while manipulating the movement. Touching the movement with bare hands can leave fingerprints and cause the movement to oxidize. For most movements, the largest solid piece of metal keeping most components together is the base plate. Most base plates extend to the side of the movement, so it's generally safe to hold a movement like this. Never hold a movement like this. If your movement has no wash hands installed, you can also pick up the movement with a pair of tweezers by its hour wheel post. Use a slightly thicker part of the tweezers for better grip. Let's take a closer look at the tourbillon cage. In it, you'll find the entire escape mechanism, including the balance wheel, hairspring, pallet fork, and escape wheel. This is analogous to this part of the usual mechanical movement, except it's rotating on its axis. The rotation was introduced by Abraham Louis Breguet more than two centuries ago in an effort to combat the effects of gravitation on accuracy. The fact that this whole mechanism is so mobile contributes to its fragility. So at no point in the assembly process should you touch it. Avoid touching it at all costs. Turning to the back, these three screws hold a tourbillon cage in place. If unfortunately you drop the watch and the accuracy is affected, you can try tightening these three screws as the cage tends to get loose after impact, affecting its accuracy. Now let's wind up the movement slightly. The movement should start running. You can see now the tourbillon cage rotating around a single central axis. This is called a single axis tourbillon. In particular, this tourbillon finishes running a circle in precisely 60 seconds so you can use its rotation as a rough replacement of the second hand. This has been a brief introduction of a tourbillon movement and its handling. For any subsequent work, a good rule of thumb with your movement is not to touch anything that moves unless you know what you're doing with the individual components. Good luck and have fun with your watch.